In 1948, Leonard Bernstein was invited to Germany to conduct the Munich State Orchestra. As UN cultural ambassador, he was also there to boost the morale for displaced persons and survivors of the Holocaust. When he came to Munich, it was, he was very shocked at the, the level of destruction and the level of misery that was present, and even in, in the, among the members of the orchestra. The uh, orchestra members went on strike to demand more food rations. But there has to be some aspect of the reason why they were on strike, that they were maybe a little angry that they would have to perform with, uh, as Lenny put it, there were three strikes against him. He was young, he was Jewish, he was American. In Munich, he's approached by the Joint Distribution Committee and the UN Rescue and Rehabilitation Administration and they ask him if he would mind taking a small side trip from Munich to a displaced persons camp where Holocaust survivors are living even three years after the war has ended. At this camp in Feldafing and Landsberg, there is a small orchestra of survivors and they ask if Bernstein would go there and conduct them and play with them and he agrees to go. These musicians who survived Dachau concentration camp met at the St. Tertullian Monastery that now served as a hospital to rehabilitate the displaced persons. Just one month after the liberation in May 1945, this determined group of musicians held a concert for the other survivors and the American GIs that served as their liberators. The message was powerful. Miraculously, we are still here. Over the next few years, the ex-concentration camp orchestra made a moving declaration by coming together and performing for the many DP camps throughout Germany to those bound by a common experience and the trauma of war. The healing power of music was the orchestra's way back to life and a reminder that they were free. A milestone for the orchestra was when they were invited to perform for the judges of the infamous Nuremberg Trials in May 1946. They wore their concentration camp uniforms on stage and their performance was heralded as an affirmation for the triumph of the human spirit. The ex-concentration camp orchestra's shining moment was when Leonard Bernstein conducted them on May 10, 1948. He plays Rhapsody in Blue, which is one of his go-to pieces when he personally, uh, or he thought those around him, needed healing through music. We had two concerts with Leonard Bernstein. He conducted several pieces and he asked me to sing and he accompanied me on the piano. As a final gesture of gratitude, the orchestra presented Bernstein with an authentic concentration camp uniform, a piece of their historical experience and one that he would never forget.